Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Alexander Lehin and Benitzel and Vidal. This game was played in Caracas in 1939. Caracas is the capital city of Venezuela. Two friends, Benitzel and Vidal, prepared very hard. They practiced day and night and were eager to meet and beat Alehin. Let's have a look at the game. Alehin had white pieces and he started with e4. Benitzel and Vidal played c6. d4, d5, Karo Khan defense. E takes on d5, c takes on d5, c4, pan of attack, knight to f6, knight to c3, knight to c6, bishop to g5, d takes on c4, creating isolated queen's pawn on d4. Bishop takes on c4, and now e6. Queen takes on d4 was definitely possible, but avoided. Let's have a look what happens. If queen takes on d4, then one line goes like this. Queen to b3, threatening, bishop takes on f7, queen to e5, check, bishop to e3, e6, knight to f3 attacking the queen, queen to a5, castling kingside. White has a compensation for a sacrifice pawn. Do you agree? I guess computer would prefer black pieces here. What do you think? A pawn is a pawn. However, two friends opted for development and safety. I think you can't blame them because they saw what happened to other players who grabbed a pawn and lost the game. Knight to f3. Bishop to e7 and both players castle king side. Rook to e1, b6, queen to d3, bishop to b7, rook from a to d1, knight to b4. Attacking the queen. Two friends are really doing well. Do you agree? Queen to e2, knight from b to d5, knight to e5, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, Rook to c8, extraying the pawn on c3. If I had white pieces, I guess I would play rook to c1, defending the pawn. This is a very interesting position, a very important moment of the game. Why to move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move or the move you would play in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Alexander Lehin sacrificed the knight on f7. Black to move. Black did not move. Two friends resigned in shock. Possible continuation. Rook takes on f7. Bishop takes on e6. Also attacking the rook on c8. Rook takes on c3, d5. Bishop to d6. Bishop takes rook check. King takes bishop. Rook to d4, rook to c8. It is not clear. How is white going to win against the best defense? Do you agree? What is the explanation for resigning? The explanation is that move knight takes on f7 was not seen in the analysis. And when it happened, it caused shock. And in shock, people don't have a good supply of the oxygen to the brain. And they do wrong things. There was a pilot in Second World War who was flying over the ocean. His plane was shot. And as a result, the plane was flying upside down. One of the journalists asked the pilot, did you notice that the plane was flying upside down? He said, of course I did. The sky was supposed to be above my head. Instead, the Pacific Ocean was above my head. The pilot 
All the plane was in shock. He wanted to eject. You know what would happen if he ejected? But he remembered his training. When in panic, do nothing. He straightened after he came to his senses. He straightened his plane first. Then he ejected and was soon found by his friends and saved. True story. Advice. When in shock, first thing you do is do nothing. Things may not be as bad as they look at first. If you keep calm, solution will show itself. If it doesn't, pray to God. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.